Today we're going to talk about Simple Mind. You can get it for your desktop, but it's also an iOS app. So that's what we're going to look at today. Hey everyone, Kevin here. And today we're going to take a quick look at the Simple Mind app for iOS. We're going to go in here and we'll have a quick look at it. Now when I first open it up here, you know, I'm actually happy with how things look on it. When you first get in, you can see that it, it actually looks pretty sharp and there are a number of different colors that kind of pop out with you. And I think the lines are nice, the fonts look pretty good, and it's got a nice clean background. So I'm looking at it, I'm actually really happy with it. Let's run through a couple of the features, then we'll talk about what I like, a couple of frustration points, and then I'll give you my overall ideas on it. So let's go have a look at some of the features. Like I mentioned before, there's an iOS and a desktop version. The iOS app is free, just the, it's limited. So if you want to go all in, it's an in-app purchase for $4.99, about five bucks. If you decide to go for the upgrade, there's a whole list of things that you'll be able to do in addition to the basic things. Mostly it's importing, exporting, it's making things look nicer and going ahead and a lot of extra little, little extra things. So you can definitely go ahead and check it out for free. And if you enjoy it, you know what, for five bucks, it's not that big of a deal to go ahead and pick this thing up. All right, a couple of things I do like about it. One is there's notes. I always like the ability to go in and, and add notes to whatever I'm working on because that way it keeps the map less cluttered and I can add big amounts of information into whatever I'm working on. So just I can tap on this and there's a little T button there. It's a little hard to see. Let me just zoom in a little bit. We'll do that. And I'll hit the T and there we go. I can add my new note and hit done and you're good to go. So simple as that. And you can see there's a little yellow square there above this one. That's showing that there's actually a note associated with this particular note. So that's really cool. Something else I like is it just looks good. It looks nice and clean on here. The nice fonts, nice lines. I've already mentioned that. It, it looks really good. So let's talk about a couple of things that I would call frustration points when I'm using this. One is that it's easy to accidentally drag the node that you're working on. I know for me, I've done it a number of times with my phone where I'll, I'll try to move something and I just go, oh, oh, and it, it starts moving all around on me. This was definitely a frustration point. It still is a frustration point for me because when I grab a note, I expect it to move this and all the children. Now, there's a way to do it by pressing your finger on it and you'll watch, you'll highlight everything, and now I can move everything around. But for me, it, it, it seems like it's almost backwards. I'm gonna move, I got a note of that here too. It should be reversed where if I just touch something, I should be able to move this, you know, this one here, and all the child nodes, and press and hold just to move that particular one node. At least that's what I think would be more effective. Something else that is a frustration point for me is that the nodes don't auto arrange. What I mean by that is if I try and take this here, frustration points, and I wanna bring it around the side, I'm gonna go grab this. I'm just gonna zoom in again so I can grab it easier. Grab it, there we go, and if I move things around, it doesn't flip things around at the axis as I'm moving them. Now there may be a way to do it, I don't know, but I don't see a way. So that's a frustration point for me that if I wanna move a whole series of items, I'd have to go in and manually change everything. So that is definitely a frustration point for me. And I'm not trying to harp on these guys, it's a neat app, but I wanna give you a couple of things that have some frustration points. So I've got a few listed here and I'm just gonna go through them. But one is that Enter doesn't close a note. Now you guys know me, I like just entering a ton of information in very quickly when I'm brainstorming, when I'm putting ideas in. And what I mean by this is, let's go in here, we're, we're gonna edit this idea. I'm in here, Enter does not close a note. I'm gonna have here, I'll just, I'm gonna hit return, enter, whatever. I'm gonna put add new text. So what it is, I'm hitting return, I'm trying to go to the next node, but it just keeps making the box bigger and bigger and bigger. The only way that I've been able to close these things is I've got to tap off it somewhere and then I have to start going somewhere else. I can't just go enter information, a new note, enter more information, new note. It just doesn't work that way for me. The last thing I'm gonna talk about just because I'm using this on my phone, I don't own an iPad, so I'm using this on my phone is that the buttons are kind of small. I can definitely zoom in and I can click on this and I can see all the buttons, but when I'm zoomed out and I click on something, I'm like, oh man, okay, I gotta really watch my finger to tap these things. Now, if I'm zoomed out too far, it's actually hard to try and grab some of these, these nodes and move them around as well. Overall though guys, I do wanna say that it looks great. I think it's reasonably priced at $4.99, and so if you, and it's really, it's, it's a free download for you to go download it, check it out, see if you like it. If you do, you can go ahead and hit, get hit up for the five bucks. The last thing I'm gonna mention as far as my overall thoughts on this is this, it's actually kinda of hard to get information out of this. 
Now you can transfer things back to the app, the desktop app, and that's kind of what they're hoping you're gonna do, right? Is you're gonna keep everything in the ecosystem. But for me, if I'm on my phone, I wanna be able to take something out of here and paste it into another program or another app and use it while I'm on my phone. And it doesn't really let me do that very easily. Something else I wish they would have had here was there's no copy and paste. And there are a few options to get the text out that make it a little bit easier if you ante up for the five bucks. But I think that's one thing they're missing here is, is the, the whole copy and paste, make it so I can transfer things quickly into other apps on my phone and take the information and use it wherever I want. Overall, guys, I think it's a pretty solid app. Uh, definitely, it's a free version. I'll throw a link down below for you guys to check it out. And there you have it, Simple Mind. Hey, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like it. Uh, leave me a comment and head over to yourmakingme.com for more information on the Visual Mapping Review Series 2014. Hey, guys, until next time, I'm Kevin Oxner. Let's talk soon.